since the Laser 1 was launched over 40 years ago, there's been a lot of single-handed dinghies on the market. Here's another one, the RS Aero 9. But what makes this boat special? Well, it starts with the fact that this boat, all up, weighs 48 kilos. That means you can do this. First off, I have to declare a bit of an interest. I'm quite a fan of RS boats anyway. I've got a 400 and an 800 that I race. And I've always admired what they've done over the last 20 years with some of their boats in the market. Not everything's been right. I think even they would, they would agree with that. But this is something else, honestly. You really, the first thing you feel is it's such a light boat that it feels, it almost feels like going windsurfing. Everything is about the power in the rig and nothing is about a big heavy boat. Now that's fantastic when you're surfing downwind and training. It just picks up and goes like those tomorrow. But it's a little trickier upwind. You've really got to concentrate on driving upwind because there's no momentum in the boat to help you. But it is absolutely superb fun and uh, I like it. Now, as you, as you probably know, I love testing boats and I've tested hundreds and hundreds over the years. But it's not often that I had to go and do this in the test. So let's just put this into perspective. This boat here, behind me, all up, weighs less than most people's launching trolleys. That's how light this boat is. So sure, the manufacturers would love it to be the 21st century laser. And who knows, maybe it will be. But I think the most important thing is that the lightweight nature of this boat, that'll be the game changer and is a hell of a lot of fun.